What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Bianca Nature Zone on this uh, Wednesday, the 29th of March. Uh, again, game week, a couple of days to play Verona, and in a couple of days, the, the biggest uh, month probably of the season starts. You know, uh, big games, uh, key games. Uh, you can be out of the Coppa Italia, out of the Europa League, and I don't say out of the top four, but maybe completely out of the top four. If you don't get those 15 points back and you lose a couple of games, well, you're done. Uh, so it's a big week. Um, it starts, obviously, on Saturday against Verona. But it's still, quote-unquote, international break. Especially until tomorrow, Thursday, you will get some transfer news. Um, if the news is legit, who knows? You know That's up uh, for you to make out. Um but I'm going to talk about that in this video, uh, so stick to it. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's go. So, uh, usually during the break you get um, transfer news. Uh, usually it comes from good sources as well, but it's been very quiet on the good sources. Um, maybe because there's no real transfer news because of the situation. It's very difficult to know what the club is doing, trying to do. Also, maybe the guys who had, how do you want to say, insight into the club, those guys are not there anymore or something like the club has been, quote-unquote, in lockdown. They don't leak stuff anymore. Uh, but before I, I was going to do this video, Di Marzo came out saying uh, that the club is kind of feeling confident you know, the confidence is um, rising in terms of keeping Rabiot. Well, we need to see if that's really true, because at this moment in time, for me, it sounds really, really difficult, especially for the money that's been asked. He also said that his mom is, yes, he wants to have things going well for his son, and him feeling well in Torino and doing well is part of it, but the money is still uh, a thing you, know, you need to discuss. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about Rabio. We, we've done that for a while. We're going to talk about center backs or that back line in general. And this one is from Tuto Sport. And it starts off really sad, <laughs> really quickly, saying a center back is not a priority in the summer, but you are looking at all options uh, from Scalvini to Hoysen. Scalvini from Atalanta is one of the Bianconeri, is the one that Bianconeri liked the most, but his cost is high 40 mil. You are also thinking, oh my God, so many typos, about promoting Hoysen uh, to the first team. Now, um, if the center back position is not a priority, then what is at the, uh, with this team? Because and when I ta when I say center back, we play in a back three. I, I put in Alexander because we play in a back three. So it is what it is. Uh, they're not good enough for in their own position. So, well, you're a center back now. The center back position, the back line in general, is the worst part of the team by a country mile, in my opinion. The fact we don't concede is the f is by design, the way we set up. That's why we don't concede, the way we play. It's not because that back line is good. Everybody making that, you know, bringing that up to justify Alexandro saying or saying, oh, the back line is not that well, you're wrong. Like, I don't want to hear it. I want to debate it. I'm sorry. Like, Individual talent wise, that backline is is so bad. Like it's really, really bad. And if that's not a priority, then then what is? Like what is a priority with this cl club? Because you have Alexander who's not good enough. You have the Shilio who hasn't been good enough for years. You have Rugani who's average. You have Danilo who is who he is. You know he's he's steady, but like it's not wow or whatever. Like it is what it is. Um, you have Quadrado who's gone. And who's not performing for over a year and a half now, consistently. Actually, never, ever. ever <laughs> never since a year and a half, basically. It's very rare that he has a good game. Uh, you have Gatti, who maybe will be good, maybe not. And you have Bremer, who has a potential, but kind of also struggled this season. So that back line is not good. Like, quality-wise, talent-wise, it's poor. You know, that doesn't mean I want the club to spend 40 mil on Scalvini, because that's, that's a joke. You know, that's an absolute joke. Nobody's going to pay 40 mil for Scalvini. And if anyone does, good luck to them. But that shouldn't be us. Because he's well. He's good. He's talented. But he hasn't proven enough. You know, he's on 250k a year. And Atalanta were trying to renew him for half a, mi half a mil a season. Wow. Asking 40 mil a year. 
as a transfer fee. That makes no sense. And his agent, well, they, he's going to probably use that against Atalanta, saying, hold on, you're asking 40 mil for him, but you're paying him like a 50 mil player. That's not going to happen. So Atalanta know what they're doing. I think they also know nobody's going to pay that, you know, because he's not worth 40 mil. He hasn't played that well enough to be a 40 mil player, you know. He hasn't, and the, Juventus is never going to pay 40 mil for him. You know, that, that's for certain. You know, I will be, no, I would, yeah, I will be shocked because <laughs> there's no way the club is paying 40 mil for him. And I don't believe they need to pay 40 mil for him. Um, I was expecting a better center back, but looking at the situation of the club, the fact we play in a back three, the fact that Danilo gets a long-term deal, the fact that they want to keep Alexandro, we're not going to get a big shot at the back. I made my peace with that. Um, it's sad, but we're not going to get a good quality center back in, you know, ready made, good to go, put him in, plug him in with Bremer and we we go again. That's not going to happen. You know, I, I understand that now, but that doesn't mean you need to pay 40 mil for Scavini. Uh, Scavini, excuse me. Now, Huysen, he is probably the most talented player in the youth setup at this moment in time, including the under 23s. Like he is, he's impressive as a center back, you know, on the ball, excellent player, Probably needs to bulk up a little more. I think he said that as well, or his father said that in an interview that he needs to, you know, grow some muscle because you know it's different in the under twenty threes and then especially in, in Serie A. But I have a feeling that he is the one that will be integrated into the first team rather quickly, sooner than later, because I have a feeling Bonucci will go at the end of the season, and also Rugani finally, and I believe he is the next one up basically. Now that doesn't mean he's going to start. At the beginning of the season, that's not that doesn't mean he's going to play a lot of games in the first part of the season. But at one point, I think he's going to get into the team more regularly. Um, that's my opinion. Is that enough? Probably not, because I believe we need a ready-made centre-back. Um, or not even centre-back, right-back, left-back. Because that that's it's so poor. Like, I don't want to play in a back three, that's one. But let's say we play in a back four. The, the fullbacks we have are just bad, man. They're really, really bad, you know? <laughs> and even if Cambiasso comes back, it's not a certainty that he's going to do well, 100%. And I'm not going to say get a Joa Cancelo or get a Kyle Walker or whatever, any of those players. I know we're not going to get that, those type of players, but we need to bring in quality because that part of the field has been quality has been deprived of quality for, I don't know how many years now. Like, it's been really poor. Like, we're dying in those positions. So we need to do something. Is it going to be Cambiasso? Who knows? Um, that brings me to the other topic, and that's Pellegrini, who is on loan Alancio. I forgot completely. I'm not going to lie. I I completely forgot that he was at Lazio. I'm not going to lie. But the news is uh, that he wants to leave. Uh, despite not playing uh, well enough, or not, not not enough, excuse me, and he's even willing to drop his wage. He's on three million and a half. Like I'll talk about that in a bit. He's willing to drop that, but the club Lazio wants uh, a discount on the twelve million. Give him the discount they want. Get rid of him. You know, he's just he's another average player. Like not good enough. Never will be good enough. There was hype with him last season. There was a moment where I'm like, yeah, play him because Alexander was so crap. But I also came on and saying, he's not good. Like, he's he's not a good player. Um, the swap was purely with Spinazzolo. It was purely for Plus Valenza reason. It, made never, it never made sense because he's just not a good player, you know. And he's on three million and a half. That's absolutely criminal. <laughs> like, Paratici got banned from Tottenham as well. And he deserves that. Like, he, he puts, he has put Pellegrini on three million and a half. Pellegrini, like, I, 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 when you read these things, you're like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> what's wrong with us? What's wrong with us? Well, Rugani's on three million and a half. I mean, we cannot move him, him on because he's not quality enough for a big club to go for him. And he's being too, paid too much for a smaller club to go for him. And he's probably feeling good, you know, center back on the bench at Juve, picking up the big, big paycheck, you know. Won a few titles. That's good for him. That's the feeling I'm getting. That's the player he is. That's the person he is. Like he, his agent can 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 come out and say he's competitive. Blah blah blah. It's about wages because you're not playing at Juve. You would have been gone for years now. It is what it is. You know, 
Uh, there's a reason why he's at the club, you know, and they can deny it, but we're not stupid. Pellegrini on three million and a half, it's ridiculous. Like it's a miracle of Lazio. It's like, yeah, we will pay you two and a half, and we will pay you with nine million, whatever. Just get rid of it, get him off the books, whatever. Just move on from these type of players. Same for Arthur. No idea we're gonna do it, but you need to do it. Same for McCandy. Make sure he never comes back. Arthur, well, that's gonna be. One hell of a task, you know, because he's on big money, he's injury prone, and he's just not good, you know. So that's going to be another player that's going to be hanging around with us for so many years, probably. It sounds ridiculous. But, again, back to the Tuto Sports story. The center back is not a priority. It is. Like, it's the biggest priority at the club at this moment in time. Because talent-wise, the back line is the worst one by a mile. Like, that midfield has talent. That front line has talent. That backline has little to no talent in it. It's absolutely sad to see this, knowing that what we have, you know, had in the past. Bonucci, at his peak, Chilini, Barzali, even Benatia. You know, you had the Ligt in there. You had Dimirau, who I wasn't the biggest fan, but he was at least he had talent. You know, he was he had something. When I look at the other players, I'm like, oh man, what what is this? Like Evra when he came in, he, he still had some talent. You know, I still could deal with it. Sandro had talent, but he you know, fell off a cliff. Cuadrado took step backs. De Chilio is who he is. It needs to be a priority. That's all I'm saying. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you think it needs to be a priority or not. Um, like this video. Subscribe. Because we are going to be back with match day contact. Starting from Friday with the preview. Um, and then, you know, every three days, it's game day almost. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And we will see you soon again. Ciao.